Okay, everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, I'd like to say welcome, and I'm glad that you're here. Uh, today, we're gonna go over some wiring, but this is actually a Wolf, Wolfsburg West uh, wiring. Um, we're gonna go over this uh, pretty extensively. I have a feeling this is gonna be maybe two or three part series on the videos, and we're gonna install this. So I'm gonna really lay it out for you. So hang in there and uh, check it out. Uh, for those who are doing this for the first time, I wouldn't really fret about it because it really spells it out very nicely. Um, it's a lot of reading, but it's pretty clear. So we're going to go through this extensively. Again, Wolfsburg West, is, it's not a sponsor of the channel. I just wanted to showcase this because this is one of the better harnesses that so I... They give you a parts list, what comes with everything. Um, it's kind of shocking. It came with the grommets. Some of these harnesses I purchased in the past didn't come with grommets. Um, I end up having using the old connectors in the past because they didn't come with it. Um, so we're gonna, gonna pull everything out of the bag and go by this. So the main main harness will be the first thing. It's your main harness. It's a big guy. This will go from the front to the rear of your vehicle. And if you get confused, which is the front and which is the tail end. What you do is go inside your booklet here. This is going to the fuse block. Of course, that's in the front. And these are going to the rear. You can take a look. And here's a little cool thing about this from Wolfsburg West, is that if you want, if you get lost for any reason, old school guys, it's got the wiring harness, I'm sorry, the wiring schematic in the back, along with everything that's labeled. So just in case you get lost, and not for us, us old school guys, this is all we had back in the day. So that's pretty cool. I need to add wires to the front here for all of the signals. Again, the tack, pressure, temperature, all that. It's going to be here in the front. So I need to run wires through. I guess it doesn't matter. As long as I come out of this wiring harness and I run it all the way through till it goes to the back of the engine, basically to where this is, then which is the oil pressure, that should be good. So let me start doing that. And I, what I did in the background, I didn't record it, is I added my extra wires to this harness. So the gray would be for the oil pressure. Um, the red, of course, is gonna be for the voltage. The yellow will be for the tachometer. And the purple will be for the oil temperature. So they've been attached to here. I use electrical tape to attach them to the wiring harness. So going by, again, this second, they have two number twos here, which is funny. This is stating a lot of things. It says what lubricant to use when you add the grommets. Um, I'm gonna use silicone spray here. This works great on rubber. So the next thing we have to do is slide the grommets on we have to get through all the wiring harness. And if you look at page five, it shows you what grommet to use and where. So only funny thing is that this part number right here does not match this part number here. So it needs to be corrected. It should be a zero instead of a one, no big deal. But it does give you a picture of what it looks like. And it's this guy right here. I'll take it out of the bag. So we're going to install these grommets uh, right now. Now, one thing the book doesn't tell you is that uh, I use tape for everything. I taped also the connectors here. You can see them coming through here. I taped them too because these are going to be routing through the car and I don't want these to snag. But it doesn't say that in the literature. But as a trick or a tip, um, definitely tape these. Uh, so that way when you're pulling it through the car, that doesn't get snagged on anything. So let's spray this. Move this out of the way. So we're gonna take this grommet. This grommet's gonna go up to this point here. This is where it goes inside underneath the dash. I have to turn it upside down because that's how their harness is set up right now. And the silicone really does help out a lot. You see how simple that was? Getting on, 
no problems. And it's about right there where it's gonna go in because this goes inside of the trunk of the car and this is underneath the dash. Let's do the rear half. All right, we spray the rear half. I don't know why I'm working backwards, but turn this upside down and that's how that needs to go through. It's gonna look like that. So I'm gonna slide it through this way. I'm going to take it about right there. It's like three, three pieces here. One, two, three. And that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. It may have to move back and forth a little bit. So now we're ready to install it into the car. Okay, at this point, I'm going to uh, add wire. I have a like electrical line here. Uh, this is meant for pulling wire through. Or you can use a like a stiff cable. The way to do it, stick it in this area here, take a hole, and just feed it through. Until it stops and let's take a look on the inside of the car see if it comes through okay here's the wire came through awesome so this wire needs to go through if you can see that there there's a hole here for where that grommet goes so I'll show you what to do and part of the wire it's gonna come through here it's gonna go up so let's go inside the car and set that up. Okay, the way the wire is gonna run through, you're gonna go through this hole and you're going to have, come out the top here. Just like that. And this has like a little hook on it. Uh, sometimes you use it, sometimes I don't. But this time I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna wrap tape around here to hold it in place. Okay, I'm going to the engine bay. I'm gonna start pulling this through. What I'm doing is I'm putting one hand here to pull. And I have, if you have the windows out on the driver's side, rear window out, it's a lot easier to do. I'm just fitting it through the, through the car and pulling it here. Okay, right now I'm gonna look at the wiring. Went through, uh, this is why we put tape on it. This snagged a little bit. It didn't damage anything, but it goes to show you that things still snag. That's why we tape everything. Take off some of this tape. You can see we have a lot of slack right here. So we're gonna have to pull this back a little bit, but before we do that, I'm just gonna let it hang. We still have the ability to pull it back. And again, this, all this stuff will be for the signals that I talked about earlier. So let's go install the front of it. Uh, one thing to note, and I mentioned it earlier, um, be sure to take the wiring underneath. Underneath your heater, uh, not heater channel, but your heater tube here. Make sure you go underneath. Uh, if you go above it, you're gonna have to snake it around this way. Come down, it's not a big deal if you can't do it. Okay, give you a better idea where the other harness has to go. It has to go right in that hole right there. Since this is a new grommet, it's gonna be a little bit tight. So let's look at it from the inside of the trunk. Kind of hard to see, but this is where the grommet's coming through here. So we're gonna pull a little bit, get the wire through. Eventually, I have to get this grommet locked in place. Get the grommet fully seated in. And the next thing I'm gonna 
do is take off some of the tape so I can see where the spades are. And now we have just the wiring harness. As you know, these other wires are sitting here. Those are the ones I added. I'm gonna ignore those. And we're gonna focus on the ones that have connectors on the end of them. So we have this single guy here. If you look at the top left corner of the page, this single guy gets hooked up to, I believe it's a black and red. Let's see if I have a black and red here. There's a black and red right here. So that should be on the picture. And we're gonna install it. There's two males here and this is a female. So we're gonna install it. Just push it in like so. It's nice and tight. So that's on there. Next one, these are the doubles here. And the doubles get connected to, I believe there's a green and black. It doesn't matter which side you put it in, as long as you have put it on uh, either side for now. So I'm gonna stall it just the way the picture has it. Stall it to the right, like that. So that's installed. Okay, and we have a second one, like this. And I believe that's, uh, is that black and white or black and gray? Looks like it's black and white. So, this is the black and white that I have here. So I'm gonna stick that in just like what the picture has to the right. Snaps right in. So those are installed. Now if you look at the picture, they're not, the wires are not striped like that in a vertical they're kind of like a swirl so but they still have this is the same color scheme so it's it's correct so those were installed and now um, we can hook up the other connectors so the other set of wires that need to be hooked up are these red wires one's red and black the other one's just a solid red and there are different gauges. You can see that they're thick, different thicknesses. So um, one goes to the headlight switch, the other one goes to ignition. So the first thing we want to do, we're gonna to have to grab the headlight switch. I'm gonna hook them up. I have a headlight switch here. This is a new one. The old one was kind of screwed up. It was really old. So I got a new one. They're labeled here. So it has, if you can see it. Oh, you can't see without the light. So the top one here is 30. Uh, the one over to the left here is 58. Then you have an X, then you have a 56, then you have the 58B. So um, this wire here, the main wire, it's saying it's hooked up to the 30. So I'm gonna hook it up to the 30 to the right for now. And then this black and uh, black and red gets hooked up to the 50 on the ignition switch. So let's take a closer look at the ignition switch. Here's the 30, and that's the 50 right there. Bingo. So 50 is gonna be to the left. Let's hook this up. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna hook up the remaining wires, except for the blue and the blue and green here. Um, I don't have the, the speedometer to hook this up yet. Hold on a second. I can show you where this stuff goes. Um, this is where the lights go for the generator goes here. And for the oil pressure light, it goes here. Let's continue. So right now I'm going to leave them off. So, but they're jumping in the way. So I'm going to connect the black wire first. And according to the picture, or if you want to look at the schematic, um, the black will go here. There's also two, there's like three of them. Sorry, there's one, two, three. It's like three of them here. So I'm gonna connect this to the furthest away from me. And this is actually going to the coil. And then I have a gray and red. I'm gonna hook that up here 
to this one here on the end. You guys can see that. That's hooked in there. And one more will be gray and black. And that goes right next to it. There we go. So those guys are in. So now we're just gonna jump to the rear and add the other connectors. So we need to hook up these wires here. They need to get those connectors, those clear connectors. And the funny thing is my kit came with this. They're all connected together. So I have to separate these. So let me go do that. I'll cut them up and then we'll install them. Okay, we're gonna left hand side here. We're gonna install this guy here. This will be the red and black. It's gonna be hooked up to um, the first side on the connector, same as the picture. Just like that. No problems. And the next one will be the, uh, I think it's the white and black. Yep, it's the white and black. It's connected next, and this is the white and black. It's connected there. Make sure you push them all the way in. And then the last one will be the gray and black. This will be this guy right here. Okay, those are in. And now we're gonna work on the other set of connectors. Um, I did install these, whereas I ran out of juice, the camera died on me. So I didn't realize until later, but I did install the red and black on the top, uh, the black and green on the bottom here. And then I installed the gray and black, I mean, sorry, gray and red to this guy here, according to the picture. So if you follow the picture, you have no issues. And then this red wire, I believe that goes to the starter. For the remaining wires that's left, it will be the oil pressure, which will be this blue and green guy here. That'll be for the pressure switch. This will be for the ignition coil. And then this will be to the voltage regulator, this guy here. And this will be the idiot light for the generator as well. So that should complete the rear part of the main um, harness. So we're gonna have to move on to the next one. The next harness should be the, uh, the dome light. For the dome light, I'm gonna use the accelerator cable. And so I'm gonna stick it through here. And it's gonna come out. I'm trying to get it to come out the top. Come out the top this way. And then, I got about, I don't know, maybe eight feet of it. Pull as much of it as I can through. And now that I got the cable through, I'm gonna stick the end of this cable. I'm gonna go down sorry, right here. That's where I'm gonna take it. There's like a little pocket that's in here and it leads right into the front trunk area. So I'll feed that through. Until it stops. See the cable came through, it's sitting right here. So I'm gonna pull a little bit more. And now what I'll do is I'll attach the uh, harness to this end and pull it, pull it through. So that'll be the next step. Okay, I'm gonna pull this through. It's a pretty big gap in here anyway, so it should come through nicely. It starts to bind like this. Stop, don't tug on it. Uh, you might have to feed it through sometimes. Things get caught. There it is. Okay, now we got the wires ready to go for the dome light. And now let's take a look at the front. I know there's a little bit of extra here. Oh, and be sure to tape 
the one end to something because you can accidentally pull this all the way through then you're going to start all over again okay so we have the dome light harness just laying here we haven't hooked it up yet i'm uh, just going to lay it in the trunk there and we're going to go back to the manual we're going to see what's the next step uh, we already completed uh, step two. If we look at all this verbiage, uh, we did that already. Uh, this has to do with the dome light. We just ran that. Um, it says nothing about hooking it up. So we're going to go to the third step here. And this is for the headlight harness. Now for the headlight harness, uh, it does say that you need a grommet. And it does come with the grommet in the kit. It's this guy here. But there's also another uh, rubber kind of hose grommet that doesn't come with the kit. And it's this one right there, this guy here. And I'll show you that once we start uh, putting in the harness itself. So I already have this installed into the car, but it does not come with the kit. That's something separate. So if you need this or if yours is in bad shape, just look up this part number here on Wolfsburg West and you can order it. So I'll show you what that looks like. So let me grab the harness and we'll start installing it. Okay, looking at the headlight harnesses. Let's see what page this is. On page number six, um, there's two harnesses. This is your main one here, which is this guy. And this is be the left. And uh, you have another harness here that way and this will be on your right so you have two of them don't get mistaken uh, that this, this is all one it's not it's two different ones and so it's saying to add these grommets um, I'm gonna do that later while I'm putting it in the car it's a lot easier for me again if, if you're doing this step by step I would do exactly what they say in the book so Let's head on over and then start installing these. Okay, hopefully you guys can see. I know it looks like a, a mess, right? All these wires laying, every, laying everywhere, so I wouldn't worry about it. I know it's probably freak you out. No! But uh, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to remove the gas tank. It makes it a lot easier. If your gas tank's installed and if you don't want to, if you don't want to remove it, you don't have to. You just kind of have to remove the wheel. Uh, to get underneath of it, uh, it's up to you. I'll remove the gas tank and then I'm gonna start routing the left side of the wiring harness for the headlights. So I have the two grommets I'm going to be installing. Um, if we take a look, closer look at them, this one, um, which is that number there, goes here on this guy. And then this grommet, you can see mine is totally sealed. And there is a large diameter here and a small diameter here. The small diameter, it goes on the outside, this firewall right here. So that's how you want to install it. I mean, I guess you can install it backwards, but that's not how it goes. Uh, it's totally enclosed because they want you to add the hole to it. They want to make it as tight as possible because believe it or not, water, does creep up in this area here. So as you can see right there, that's where this guy goes. And basically this is just a pass through for the harness. That way you're not coming over the gas tank and making a little notch here. So that's all this is for. Okay, let's do all these grommets. That one's installed. Okay, need to cut a slit in that one. Just a tiny slit in this one. I looped up the, the main harness. This is the side we're gonna be working with. Um, this is goes to your brake uh, switch and this goes to your horn. So that'll be, gonna go, so I'm going to put it through here. Put that one in first. I'll feed these through one at a time. So those are in. I'm gonna push this through. This needs to go through as well. Cause this goes to the steering column. So I'm gonna push it in until it hits like the Y right here. I'm 
must stop there. And then I have to go inside of the car and push through the rest of the wiring here. No problems doing that. And what we can do is we can connect uh, the rest of these wires. So this one connects to the steering column, but it's kind of hard for you guys to see. So I'm gonna get you a better look at what I'm gonna be doing here. Hopefully you guys can see better. I apologize if I start shaking this around, but it's a kind of a tight spot. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna connect, uh, according to the picture, uh, we're gonna connect this to the steering column. This is actually a ground wire. And this operates your horn. So we're gonna connect that. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to install um, the brake light switch um, part of the harness and be sure that you use your boot for this. That way you protect the wires or the, actually the connection. Now, if you look at my master cylinder, there's two of them. They already put the boot on one. Uh, this is an upgraded uh, master cylinder. It has a larger bore only because I have um, this brakes in this car. So normally on the 66 is just one of those. So all I need is just one at this point to operate the brake light. So I'm gonna hook this up and then I'm going to install the boot. But I'm gonna route it behind this uh, cable here. Just like that, the way it stays out of the way. I'll plug these in. It's kind of hard to see, it's a little tight in here. Okay, that's installed. And then the last thing will be for the horn. Not the last, but the last in this area for the horn. So it's these guys here. So this operates the positive, it's the negative for the horn. And this also has a boot too that goes with it. But again, it doesn't come with the kit. So let's see if I can get you some light. Turn you around, get you a better look. Okay, for this cable, we're talking about here, for the horn, it gets routed um, basically up against here. And then you have this here, let's see it, this guy here. And then it goes through that hole right there. So let me show you how that gets done. So slide it through. It's not working out well. Let me put you down and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so that's how it's routed. That way goes through here. I mean, it stays up against here for the most part. Mm -hmm. It goes through here and down through that hole. And the hole, what the hole looks like, there's gonna be some noises, a lot of stuff going on right now. You see the hole, that's where the hole is. Right there, that's what it comes out to. And your horn is right here where this bracket is. So I haven't installed the horn, but I should do that. So let me install the horn and hook this up and put the boot on. Okay, I have the horn installed. Um, it does matter which is um, positive or negative. Can't figure out on this hella horn. Uh, Maybe you guys can leave a comment below, let me know which one, but this is the positive. And of course the brown is the negative. So for now, I'm just gonna hook it up for now. And we'll test it out. Um, there's boots that's supposed to go on here, but I don't have them at this point. So right now, um, I can use either shrink wrap to put on here. I'd rather have the boots. Uh, I have a feeling that the boots, boots won't fit this. Usually it's a round piece and then the boot goes over it, but these are not round. These are like a weird shape. So, and they don't have a lip on them to hold the boot on. So I have a feeling that uh, since this is like an aftermarket Hella uh, 12 volt, it's not gonna fit up with the boot nicely, so. I think this shrink wrap will work just fine. Um, 
you want to do is eliminate as much of the contact as you can. So we'll see. We'll later visit that and uh, figure that out. But that's how you hook that up, the horn, it's part of the harness. Okay, I'm ready to hook up the rest of it. Um, you have approximately four wires here. Uh, of course, this is the ground. And then you have another ground here, and that gets connected to this guy here with a screw. But first, I wanna send this harness through this hole right here. And this is the actual grommet, kind of like a loom. I can show you that. I took the tire off to show you. And the rubber loom looks just like that. It goes from inside the trunk into the, the assembly, the headlight assembly, but they call it the bucket. So take a look on the inside here. And that's where that grommet comes out, right there. So that does not come with the kit. So that piece there does not come with the kit. You have to get that separately. And it's yours specific too. Okay, we're all taped up here. I'm gonna send her on through. So already lubed it up and let's see how well it goes. I say right about there where the insulation stops. That should be good enough. So let's take a look at the light bucket and see what that looks like with the wire in it. So the wire came through, looks pretty good. Plenty of cord or plenty of wire to hook up your headlight. So time to move on to the other side. And the other side already has the loom uh, connected already, that rubber loom. So I guess I can show you how that's done, but it's basically repeating the same thing. So I'm not gonna really film that. Okay, the right side uh, harness is installed. I also installed uh, the screw there for the ground. And I also installed the screw here for this side of the ground. So both harnesses are in for the headlights. Um, you can see I'm sticking out of the, the bucket here, the headlight bucket. Same thing with this guy here. So it looks good. So now we're just gonna move on to the next thing. It says that you have to install the dome light harness. Now I guess, I mean, dome light harness is in, but we need to connect the connectors. So let's do that um, now. So for the dome light harness, we're going to refer to the picture here and we're going to follow whatever they have going on here. Uh, we're going to hook it up to the fuse block and then I'm going to have to pull out the, uh, the flasher relay. Uh, the old flasher relay was a six volt and I am upgrading to a 12 volt. It's basically the same pinout. It's just that the voltage is different. And also I need to pull the, the switch for the wiper. Okay, we're ready to hook up the, the dome harness, which is this right here. So, I'm gonna hook up, I do have the flasher uh, relays here, and I have the windshield washer, um, or actually windshield wiper switch right here. So, there's a certain uh, place you need to put the connectors in. So if you look at the diagram, the uh, the hook up to the washer first, it's this black wire here. It'll be the black wire that has the brown for the ground. That's how you know which one it is. So we'll hook up into here. It'll be number 54. It's kind of hard to see because these are kind of faded. So number 54. So this has a 54 in it and it'll be clicked into here. Like that. And we'll set this off to the side. And now we're gonna hook up to the flasher here and it'll be number 15 and 30. And this has, I don't know if you can see it or not, it does have the numbering here and it does have a color code on the bottom too. So, um, we're gonna follow whatever it says here. So you're gonna take the single wire and same thing with the red, you're gonna take the single wire that's coming off over here, so these two. So this one's gonna to go to the 30. So look 
at the at the block here, not a block, but the flash relay, the 30 is here, the bottom, and the 15 will be above, which will be the black. Those two are in. So 15 above, 30 below. That's how you read that. Okay, so those are hooked up. So now we're gonna hook the remainder of the black and red they have here and they're gonna go to the fuse block so this black is gonna go to this guy here or to the end if you look at the picture that's where that goes there and then this red will now go to up top here I'll put on the last tab in the back so that's where Where that goes. Whoa, hold on a second. I've got a correction here. This does not go up here. This, let me get this out by one hand. This goes right here, according to the picture. My fault. If you see it anywhere else in the video, it's because I've changed this at a later date. So this puppy goes right here. Okay, gotta move on. I know it still looks like a mess, right? So this dome harness does lay on top of the rest of the harness, which the main harness. So the dome harness does lay on top of the first harness or the main harness. And so um, I would just leave it there. Everything's still hooked up um, as far as your wiper switch. Now the next and last thing I'm going to do is hook up the door uh, the dome light switches which are on the ends here so that'll be my next thing i'm gonna have to do um, so you have one wire that goes to the driver's side and you have the other wire that goes to the passenger side and those need to be hooked up so i gotta pull um pull out the door switches to clean them up make sure they're good to go and then i'm gonna add new uh grommets to them as well okay this is the driver's side uh door switch for the dome light. So I'm gonna take this off first. Of course, you can see how the door was been squishing it and this rubber is pretty pretty much spent. It's dry rotted. So I'm gonna replace that as well. So let's take this off. Not bad at all. So um, I'm gonna clean this one up and uh, lube it and then I'll put it back in with brand new rubber. So that's how it goes in. So. They don't come straight out. You kind of have to core, like kind of tilt it up and then put it in place. Okay, I cleaned everything off. I have a brand new rubber here. You can see it. And it kind of has like a teardrop to it. So this is the bottom of it. So the screw can go that way. And the way this is going to fit in is like this. I already lubed this up, cleaned it up. It's going to fit in just like that with the screw on the bottom here. And if you have a newly painted car, the way this works is that it connects to the ground in order to operate the light when the door is open. So we can test that here in a second. So before we install this, we need to hook up the wire. So let's pull the brown wire through and it's on the picture. As you can see here, this is the wire that's gonna be coming through. So let's push it through. Hook up my door switch here. Let me install this. It's installed and the wire connected. Now we're gonna do the other side. Okay, this is the passenger side. Same thing happened. Rubber got weak. Pull this out. This is dirty. Can clean this up. Things are all cleaned up here. I'm gonna push the wire through. Remember, this notch faces down for the screw. Now I can attach it. Now we can install it like the other side. Add the screw. When I said about testing, this is what I meant. Um, I have a fluke 
fluke meter here. I'm gonna do a continuity test. Okay, I hook up the multimeter. It's sitting on the window that's not there. If you can see where it hooks it up onto the ground there, uh, where the dome light is supposed to come through. And then the other side of the multimeter, I put it to a ground, which is right there. There's a screw there for your uh, seat, your rear seat. So that's a good enough contact for ground. And I'm also holding, I'm holding the door switch here. Because <clears throat> right now there is no contact to ground. This is simulating that that door is closed there. And I'm pressing this in to simulate that this door is closed. So if somebody goes to open the door, the multimeter should beep. Let's see. And it does. Somebody shut the door, the light goes off. Open the door, light goes on. I can do this forever. I'm sure you guys love this. That gets annoying. So now we're gonna head over to the other side and the beep should happen again. There we go. It's in the dark, but open and close. Door close, light on, light off. Okay, that's it as far as the wiring goes. Um, this will be the first series of the wiring. I know this one's kind of long, there's a lot to go over, but I want to get you the, the most information that I can. So uh, click the link for the next uh, set of wiring that we have to do, be the next part two of the wiring. I believe there's going to be a part three as well, since these are taking a little longer than I expected. Okay, guys, so go ahead and click it. Uh, please subscribe and like if you can. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. If you have any questions, leave some in the comment. All right, look out for the next video.